I'm Eric. And I'm Steve. Battle Bond Product Images. Haircut. Commander Anthology 2. Let's talk about it. Welcome back, Planeswalkers, to the Collector Mania YouTube channel. Of course, I'm Eric, and this is Steve. Thank you for joining us for Let's Talk About It, episode number 30. Um, yeah, if, if you guys like us, give us a like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. If you are subscribed and want to know when you get or when videos are posted, please hit that bell for us as well. Um, well, Steve, it's been kind of a little bit of a boring two weeks as far as magic news, right? Yeah, that's why we skipped last week. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sorry for anybody that was like, where, where the heck's let's talk about it. Yeah. But we uh, got a little busy filming some other stuff and kind of just let it let it go, basically. Yes. We were just like, Ugh. Uh, So here we are, episode 30. Yes, that's right. And uh, the little bit of news has kind of trickled out since then. Uh, just a few things we'll break into it here really Some quick. Some really cool stuff. Yes, definitely. If I can get the full screen, there we go. Um, so the first thing we've got here is the Battle Bond product images. Uh, pretty pretty simple. Um, we'll go through them here really quick. That's the basic box there. It's the conspiracy style box, the two rows of horizontal packs. There's a couple heroes on each of these, so uh, we'll see those other guys in just a minute. But I feel like this is going to be like another Dominaria where we just get legend after legend after legend. Yeah. So this is going to be Commander Christmas again, yep. which is going to be taxing but fun at the same time. Yeah. A uh, set of twins, maybe? Yeah. That's, uh, like a twins? blue and red mage, yeah. Yeah. Uh, super cool art. be interesting to see. This set is all about playing with a partner, essentially, right? So this one will be maybe, what, green, black, blue? Uh, possibly. I definitely blue. see more than one color on the, the plant-looking chick. Yeah, yeah. So we'll see. I like that hair. That's pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. Uh, she's got a tattoo on there. That looks like, what is that, spell spell twine or yeah, something in the yeah. background? I doubt that that's, like, specifically part of the set. But <laughs> uh, And then these guys, so, like, a big ogre dude, Cyclops, and then uh, it looks like Flip or whatever his name yeah. is. Yeah. Flip, 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 Flip. Uh, comment in the uh, comments on how to pronounce that one. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and I think uh, the only thing that's been spoiled so far for them is a set of land, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got a cycle here. This this um, plane, and I forget the name, is kind of like a gladiatorial combat plane. That's like the pastime, I guess. Uh, so you can see on a number of these cards, they kind of talk about it a little bit. One of them's like a luxury suite, and you can kind of see the background of this Coliseum kind of going on. Um, but yeah, the, the neat part about this for us multiplayer players is that um, these can come in tapped if you have, what, two or more opponents? So Untapped. Or, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah. They come in untapped, and that's why they're a big deal, because they're essentially like, if you're playing a four-player game, you know, a... They're always going to come come into play untapped. Yes. Uh -huh, a lot of people are complaining, of course, about how they don't have the land typing, like it's not a land... Not searchable. Yeah, it's not a plains island or whatever. Yeah. But, I mean, really, who cares? It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Uh, fetch land... You can go get your other dual lands other with that, stuff. and just hopefully this is in your opening hand or whatever. Yeah. Um, most likely this is always going to play, you know, untapped when you want it to. I mean, late game it's not really going to matter when some players are missing, so it's just going to be like, oh, it's just not mana anyway. Yeah, like you said, opening opening hand, early early turn fixing, like... Yeah, I'm I'm really interested in this set as I keep looking at the artwork, and it, it looks way more like modern times than a lot, mm -hmm. a lot has. Like... Obviously, there's some planes that have, like, more advanced technology than we do, but it's done in a way that's, like, balanced to where it feels still kind of, like, fantasy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whereas this is starting to look straight up like, oh, this is 2022, 20, you know, or, you know, yeah. further than that now. You I know, mean, 2030. Yeah, especially if you look at the, the luxury suite there, um, you know, it's got, like, pretty modern looking yeah. furnishing and I, I keep thinking I'm going to see a TV with, like, a sportscaster on yeah. it, which is kind of, I think, the feel they're going for yeah. here. Like, I keep looking at the Morphic Pool, like, yes. oh, yeah, that's that's like a day spa or something like that. It looks like, like Tron, kind of. Yeah, you know, basically. Like... It's just like, um, yeah, this makes a lot of sense. So yeah. it'll be interesting. I, I think it's cool that they're kind of breaking out of their, I guess, uh, like we were just talking about, their fantastical theme on a set that's not really like a... a Impactful, yeah. I guess. Yeah, yeah it's just kind of like it's a secondary thing where you may or may not like it or dislike it, which is cool, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. So uh, I'm sure lots to come with that set. You know, Conspiracy, I'm trying to think how many roughly new cards there are in Conspiracy. Quite I, a I'd, few. Yeah, you know, I'd say at least 60 or so. So I imagine there's going to be a good amount of reprints, but a lot of, um, like, Battle Bond-specific cards as well. Well, and another thing that a lot of people have been rumbling about is 
are we going to see partner commanders here? Mm -hmm. Which I would not be surprised if there aren't. I mean, like, this is a set to do that in. You know, it's once again, it's something that's secondary, so it's not going to affect standard at all. It doesn't even really affect any other formats besides legacy. So, it from the pack art, it's starting to look that way. You know what I mean? And would there be a special type of ruling where you could, like, partner as a two headed giant? Like, so, yeah. I don't know if that, how that would work. Um, but it would kind of maybe clean up a few roles as far as, like, two-headed giant goes with commander and, like, add yeah. maybe some things. Like, you're, you are partnered with your partner and your commanders are partnered as well. Yeah. You know, so maybe that changes that whole, like, life total thing. Well, I mean, that's already kind of been adjusted. But you know what I mean? Kind yeah. of just, just cleaning things up extra. a little bit. Yeah, and I think that'd be super cool if, um, like, you know, say, say you've got these two here and you wanted, like, just the... You know the blue mage in the back there to pair up with the other small like goblin guy the flip the blip guy on that one maybe they all have partner like you said and then you can just kind of intermix and make your own commanders like we were able to in c16 um i i think that'd be pretty sweet partner is a good way to introduce a lot of creativity creativity (laughs) creativity into deck building in some old ways. I mean, you could make a Jun commander with some new partners and have a completely different deck. Yeah. And hopefully they could do that with the... And I assume this is just the three packs they've spoiled. Most set art, you know, only highlights a few, like, cards yeah, on the, like on the wrapper. Yeah, cards usually. Is. So maybe there's ten of these guys. And imagine I, I would not do. be surprised, like I said, if it's Dominary again and we yeah. have, like, 20-plus legends. I would not Sweet. be surprised. And like I said, once again, this is a set to do that in. It's going to be, like, this reminds me of Unstable in a Mm -hmm. lot of ways. Like, it's very, like, I have that feeling going into it. So we'll see what happens here. Um, Obviously, (laughs) everybody and their grandma is going to need a box of this just to uh, fill out commander lists and whatnot. That's, I mean, I'm coming at this from that perspective purely. I really could give a crap about Two-Headed Giant because, you know me, I play it in Seals Seals and that's about it. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sure that the two headed giant crowd is excited about this, but I'm kind of mm. we're more more commander focused, I guess. And yeah, you know, I think you're right. I'm excited, just like I was, like you said, unstable hit. You know, dominary was a hit. Yeah. If this is as good as either of those, like this will be fun to play a sealed game and then just like pick apart and put into the commander decks you love or get inspired and build a new new commander set, whatever. Like, well, I would love more for four color options would be great because yeah. like. Yeah, we've got a ton, but just adding more and more to that pool, because I know that's maybe something that's a little bit more limited still, because, I don't know, I look at, like, four-color options, and I'm just kind of like, eh, I don't want to build that guy. Everybody has that guy, so. Yeah, and I agree. Um, yeah, that the the partner mechanic is, has been something that really did shake up the, the commander scene, and hopefully this is another kind of shot of that into the yep. group, so. Um, Do you yeah. know, when does this come out? It should be June 8th. June eighth, because the pre-release or pre—I think they're calling them preview event, events ah. should be the second and third. So check your local game store. I know we're running them Saturday and Sunday. This isn't going to have like a pre-release kit. It's yeah. just going to be six packs, and I think a promo pack each. So if if you and I play just as an example, I think we each get a promo pack, or maybe we we as a team we get a promo. That must be it. Yeah. There took there should be two guys in there that we can each split up and use yeah and then we each get our six packs to build a regular sealed um and then i think we we've got an, enough room for like 72 people or something um it, yeah it's, it's odd it's kind of how they used to do pre-releases where they give you just packs and you just say here you go yeah. here's six packs here's four packs you know go for it <laughs> yeah um so i think that that should be june 2nd and 3rd uh for those those we days should there. probably do a video of that yeah, oh yeah i think it'd be awesome yeah you know uh, so we'll see. I, I'm excited. It, it, like even if there's one card that's like a new Savala, like not yeah, oh but God. something that exciting, <laughs> you know. Um, oh man, it'll be sweet. A new slime foot. Ah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> already. <laughs> so uh, again, there's not a whole lot on Battle Bond, just the images and stuff, and then the one set of spoilers. But um, it's it's interesting that you know going as far as like character wise, a lot of these are very humanoid, and then all of a sudden you have like this ogre and like the the, the guy that you were talking yeah. about so like I, I don't know what the juxtaposition is going to be there like are most beings in this world like the humanoid and then yeah. all of a sudden you have like these uh planeswalkers maybe that yeah. came or something like that i i don't know we'll, yeah we'll see we'll see 
Um, so with that, I think we'll wrap that up, and we're going to talk a little bit about Commander Anthology 2. Oh, let's spend it. So moving on into Commander Anthology, mm -hmm. something that, a product that we look forward to, I mean, <laughs> it's definitely interesting for newer Commander players, yes. you know, people that don't have the decks necessarily and weren't buying them over the years, because it gives them a chance to grab them, which isn't something that, you know, obviously you can go back to very easily, especially if you think about like the first set out of this cycle. Oh yeah. Like I'm sure that deck alone is probably as expensive as this product is. Yeah, if you were looking for, you know, the original print or whatever and given the parts and all that, like... I remember months after C11 came out, I found the the deck um, with this guy. It had a scavenging ooze in it. Yeah. And I lost my mind. Like, or I think it did. Maybe a no. I'm. It's one of them. Yeah, it's one of the ones. <laughs> yeah. It's it's the uh, the Gov one. I'm sure that had it. But um, yeah, you know, it's tough. You know, you think about finding one of these products. I mean. You'd be lucky to find even a Commander 17 nowadays. Like, oh, yeah. And so, like, I keep running into the. I go to my Walmart out in Elizabeth where I live, and there are sometimes, like, there's some oddball Commander choices out there. Like, recently I found all the Challenger decks. Hmm. You know, so, you know, looking for older product, well, that's not necessarily an old product, but sometimes it's not at your LGS. Like, it can be hit or miss. You're yeah. never going to really truly find what you're looking for. It's more of a gamble. And that's kind of what I'm getting at mm -hmm. is to find these older decks could be definitely a challenge especially in their original state because yeah. a lot of times i mean you may buy like a collection or whatever and get it and it's like half there yeah so on and so forth so and now you can get it in a box with some buddies yep. play it out get some life counters for new... life counters which is yeah that's that needed to happen because yeah. people love those life counters i don't know why wizards just doesn't release those as their own product because i'm sure people sell. buy them well yeah. yeah i guess i mean that's and the drive to buy anthology is the life counters. That's right. <laughs> Not the cards or the new frames or the foils, but yeah. the life counters. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, let's move on and we'll talk a bit about our frames. Yes. So new frames on all these cards, and a lot of them are foil. Not all of them are, um, but this one in particular. I think the main two commanders are foiled, and then are the newer ones are foiled. Okay. If I'm if I'm correct, I'm not a hundred percent on that, but. Okay. I mean, the Mimeoplasm looks great, shows up in this frame, looks awesome. It's going to be a cool foil. I know there is already a Judge foil of this, so not necessarily, like, too exciting, but still pretty cool. Yeah, definitely. I like the set symbol, too, now that yes. I look at it. Yeah, really cool. It kind of goes with, um, I think, the C16. It looks like a shield to me or something, yeah. you know? Um, of course, Damia in the new frame as well. Uh, most of these just, you know, kind of new frame, hopefully new foil, so the, I guess Vorosh would not be... In a new frame, is that correct? Uh, he would be in a new frame, but, but he would not be foil. Not foil, okay, yeah. got it. That makes sense, so. Uh, Skullbriar also included new frame there. Of course, was kind of a, a all-star in the past, but... Yeah, and, you know, 1v1 really drove the price of this one. Maybe not so much anymore because it's kind of fallen off. You know, 1v1 has kind of changed a little bit, evolved into that 20-point life total, which, honestly, this guy should do better at, but yeah. for some reason he doesn't seem to be doing as well. Hmm. But... Still an interesting card. I, I know there are some zombie players out there that like this guy. So Yeah, definitely. Uh, O-Stone, just another interesting include. I think it's around 10 bucks or so. Um, I don't know if they'll use this iconic Master's Art. I'm a fan of the original, but we'll see. Just a good a good reprint. I know we've they used to move quite a bit, even when they were like 30 bucks, and now they've well, kind of Well, because they were a huge a piece of Tron, too, and yes. so, so on and so forth. And Now, I don't know if that deck's running these as much i would imagine it is but you know i don't pay that much attention to modern so <laughs> yeah yeah i think oh yeah an eternal witness just an interesting include like i know steve and i kind of discussed you might break these down so having an extra eternal witness i don't think there's a single eternal eternal witness in the shop right now like they they have gone just i mean everybody includes them it's just like cyclonic rift I oh mean, yeah does your deck run this color run oh, yeah. this card why aren't you running this card exactly so, uh, so just another source of that um, even if like you said just tear it apart so uh, Grave Pact another similar one for as many prints as this has and the white border and edition sets like um, these have these have kind of gone and now there's a new source of them so I think this deck had a, a good number of kind of valuable cards in them uh, just well, to kind of help make justify that price you know and even like the two or three dollar ones like those aren't you know buying all these cards individually is going to be a heck of a lot more than what the product actually MSRP is for, yeah. so yeah, <laughs> yeah. You think of all the solemns or soul rings or command yeah. towers and stuff that you can get out of soul rings alone. Yeah, that's yeah. like ten bucks there. Greaves you know? and stuff like yeah. yeah. There's a good amount of stuff. 
Um, from the C14 set, we've got the Duretti like scrap mastery set. So for some reason, we don't have the artwork for the new frame on this one yet. It's not even on the Wizards page. So uh, I'm guessing that's just you know maybe something they're waiting to show off or who knows we might be getting new artwork I, we don't know like yeah. it could be a complete surprise either way this is a wonderful card i've had my commander deck built around this guy forever i think is a great include in like a lot of really strong like is it slash whatever variation of uh, artifact deck build he just works great for recursion and everything in card draw so yep and as, as you have spoken about the first foil print of him right yes um a yeah. lot of people are losing their minds over that too yeah which i think a lot of over the next couple of years when as these release we're gonna get a hit every time because there's it, i mean think about like next year could be like animar like people yeah. are gonna go lose their minds even though we just got a foil animar possibility in the last master 25 or i think it was master 25 yeah but still people are just gonna be like oh well, i'm just guaranteed a foil animar now i'm just gonna buy the product for that yeah and he'd you be know. a good choice like you know, you think of Kalia and then the yeah. Mimeoplasm and stuff. I think Animar would probably be the next one to go for. So, yeah, I, I could definitely see it. Um, of course, Felden there, the new art. I imagine he, he looks kind of rainbowy. So, I think. Oh, yeah, he's fine. He'll be the foil one there. Um, interesting card. I, you know, cool commander. Um, and I'm glad he's getting a, another print in in foil. Yeah. Uh, worm coil engine i think it's sitting at like 30 bucks or something so <laughs> a great reprint there um yeah just an overall amazing powerhouse card in the format so definitely definitely good in our pickup yes uh blast no sack just another good staple there probably four bucks but of course like for like i play a lot of red i think i have three of these in decks and i needed a fourth one recently so it's just yeah. like okay you look at edh rack and this is probably one of the most pay played red cards of all time oh, so yeah. and there's a reason for it it's a really good board wipe yes definitely uh some of the medallions uh ruby medallion of course here i think is a 10 bucks yeah so always a good choice especially in the artifact build um just use your artifacts to make your red cost less um you know how much i love these if you guys watch my deck techs that are monocolored <laughs> or anything like that so a good good pick up there this is why we need like a master's commander set yeah. like that just includes all the medallions and all, all that cycles kind of stuff. And yeah. stuff yeah that'd be sweet cycle masters there we go calling it here yep you heard it <laughs> wizards we'll be you can credit us on the design team yes <laughs> uh cage sun you know not a bad choice i think it's in you know six dollar range or something like yeah, that not bad another good one for monocolor this is where i totally live <laughs> yeah. um arcane lighthouse eh, it's cool i don't think it's had too many prints but you never know when hexproof is gonna punch you in the face yeah so getting rid of it it's not a bad idea <laughs> uh the commander what is this steve uh, Kalemni. yeah uh, yeah yeah uh Kalemni, i don't know i have I, I screwed the order up that's okay normally we'd have the first guy but sell is part of that she's not too pricey probably less than 10 bucks but well the problem is they keep reprinting her yeah for well it's not a problem for us but it's a problem for people that look for like finance it's just yeah. like well, this card's, you know, a dollar now, whatever, but yeah. it, it doesn't really matter. This card's always going to be cool. It's it's a very interesting, like, control include, in my opinion, because all of a sudden you just pit everybody against each other, so. Yeah. I'm curious to know if this one will be foil. I doubt it, since, you know, most, like I said, this would be the third commander, in my opinion. The the one that's already out. Yeah. You know, the other two. Well, somewhere in there. Somewhere, yeah. Uh, it should be Anya and then Kalemni. Um, you know, the Blade of Selves is in here. This one is i think at 18 bucks or something yeah. so a great reprint I, I know steve and i were discussing earlier like i wish i wish this card had like a crazy bonkers home well it's kind of funny you get it's almost i have the same problem with helm of the host at this point yeah like there's only almost too many applications for it so yeah. it's just like where do i put this because right. there's it works so well everywhere, everywhere. yep and i don't want to just start running blade of selves and helm of the host in every commander deck right you know what i mean so it's just it's kind of like too many choices so you know and i kind of agree like i know we've kind of geeked out about the helm and, and then this one i like every legendary i think how can i get more of these or like what crazy crazy dude can i get that i can get copies of uh you know how can i make him stick around all this stuff like there's so much that you want to do and then like you said you just kind of throw up your hands like well yeah could you imagine sticking blight of selves on something that has helm of the host on it it's just like now you've got this creature that not only makes a token of itself at the beginning of combat, but 
but also when you go into combat, makes two, three other versions of itself. Like yeah. it's just like uh, five versions of something awesome. And if you have like a mirror gallery, once again, like you get to keep bumping. Yeah, and you get like, into turn with the sundial uh, infinite. Yeah, and... it's just oh, it's <laughs> stupid. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's a little wacky for sure. So Arvad, that's where all these need to go. Yeah, yeah, that's not a bad <laughs> idea. Um, yeah, there's Kalemni, of course. Like you said, probably you can see the rainbowiness there. So she should be one, of course, is the main, and I think. Oh no, maybe not. It's in there somewhere. Anya should likely be the second one. Yeah. Thought vessel, another one you just said should be foil. Should be foil. I wish it was foil. <laughs> I need a foil of the. There are three cards in my foiled out deck that are not foil because obviously they don't come that way. This is one of them. Uh, Arjun is another one which eventually will probably get printed as a foil. Thank oh, yeah. God. Yeah. And then the other is turnabout, which I don't know if it will ever get printed as a foil, but yeah. hopefully something like it comes around at some point, but. Yeah. yeah, we need Thought Vessel. I know Command Sphere just got printed as a Judge Foil, which is ridiculous for us. I know a lot of people aren't very happy about it, but yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'd be excited. I wonder if, the, like, I always think of the Myriad Landscape and, like, the Ash Barons. Like, I wonder yeah. if this will get slipped in somewhere as a, like, an uncommon in a, you know, draftable set or something. I mean, I could definitely see this in, like, a Battle Bond. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, or like a conspiracy type yeah, set because it, it would make sense there it's it's just a good mana rock and yes. then all of a sudden it's just like well it's got amazing commander applications so and now it's foil ha ha yep there's, there's on you at the end probably or just about urza's yeah. incubator with all the tribal stuff that's rolling around yeah um a good include i mean who does who hasn't built a tribal deck in the <laughs> last like year and a half uh, I have a love hate relationship with them. I always build them; they're always terrible, and I'm always just like, "Why am I doing this?" And yeah. then I always tear them apart. You're not picking minotaurs or <laughs> tribal. Uh... Well, that's the funny part is I'm choosing like the strongest tribes. I have a, a tribal elves deck. I have a tribal merfolk deck, and I think I have a tribal vampire. Oh, Brandy has a tribal vampire deck and a tribal dragons deck. She's got a werewolf deck too. Right? She does have a tribal werewolf deck as well. So actually my wife is the one that builds most of the tribal deck. She, this product is for her, for Ursus yeah. Incubator alone. Here you go, sweetheart. Yeah. Buy this. 160 something dollars. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it's a, it's a good include. Uh, you know, you mentioned some of those tribes. I think elves and merfolk kind of have it on lock. <laughs> like, yeah, really? They may not need an Ursus Incubator unless you want to win more, but, <laughs> you know, like I said, I think I, my uh, Minotaur deck has one of these, and like, you know, if I wanted to build tribal, I don't know, tribal leviathans, that'd be perfect. I do run this in my Kozilek deck, but that's just for that Eldrazi. one Eldrazi yeah, I, mean, I mean there are other Eldrazi in there but I really don't care I just want my commander to be cheaper yeah yeah I wouldn't care um so good a good pickup a good include there helps justify the, the price of 165 yeah. you know um Atraxa good old Atraxa so now we've got another foil printing of Atraxa with the new frame I mean yep. which one do you want to run, run really I mean they're both beautiful so mm -hmm. it's I, I don't know like uh it's going to be a cool card to pick up i guess oh yeah big time and especially if you don't have one i think a lot of people you know if you weren't right on top of these like we sold out of this stuff so fast yeah um and especially this one if you didn't get it you probably haven't that yeah. i guess or you bought just a single and it, that stung and now you can get the whole deck again like yeah um yeah you know she's she's really good obviously and it's funny with this as popular as she is, how few people I see playing her. I think a lot of people, like, to me, she feels like the Nakusar. Like, yeah. There's almost like a, oh, you're that guy. Gentleman's agreement. Like, yeah, don't uh, play Atraxa. Don't be that guy who rolls up with, like, a billion planeswalkers. And, well, that was me. Yeah. I mean, that's my Atraxa deck is Atraxa I super mean, friends. why wouldn't it, you know? But I, I, it's odd because you're completely correct. And I, I'm sure we did an episode talking about this being the loathed deck that we're going to see for the next two years and it really hasn't happened i think it, we've gotten to a point in commander where there are just so many choices that that almost doesn't happen anymore we yeah. don't see 10 people roll up with nick kusars anymore yeah or a busted shroom deck or yeah. like uh you know mirin was the problem or yeah. the red green omnath like there, certain ones yeah i think people yeah. get bored of them a little bit well and this definitely lends itself to that i mean there, you know, there are very specific strategies that this commander fits into, and that's it's kind of funny because it's so powerful, but it's like limiting in its yeah. own way. Yeah. Although, I mean, I've heard people using this as a Voltron commander as well, which a hundred percent makes sense. I mean, 
like keyword soup for sure yeah. like it doesn't protect itself which is kind of crappy but give it a sword yeah you know, like, like who cares just give it a lightning greaves and all of a sudden you've got a 4-4 flying vigilant death touch shroud life monster linking. yeah hasting yeah it'd be it'd be bad to get this this equipped with anything you know yeah. it'd almost be like a crazy genara yeah exactly yeah. Uh, dark genara yeah uh, <laughs> Yeah, as far as other stuff that comes in the uh, Breed Lethality, there's the Deep Glow Skate. Not bad. Everybody loves this card just because it kind of makes you feel like you're cheating. Animar players rejoice. Yeah, really. Double counters? <laughs> what? Whoa. Planeswalker, your people rejoice. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Um, and then some other th of the partner command. Or, yeah, they, they are partners. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, so shy. And then the next guy, which is Rayhan. And then Ikra Shadiki is the last one. Oh, we don't we didn't that get one. that image. Oh, well. The, the one that I always think that's in this set is Thrasios, but he's not actually in this one. I think he must be in the uh, red, white, uh, green, blue one. Yeah, the uh, Landfall one. So, I don't know. Interesting. Once again, this is a product that I think will be pretty interesting for any new Commander player to pick up. And we'll see, we'll see kind of what happens there. Um, the price, of course, is a little bit off-putting to some people, but... I don't know. We'll definitely see. I, I think I'll probably pick it up. I don't know if uh, Eric's planning on necessarily picking it up. We'll we'll see. <laughs> I'll be getting some singles, I think. Yeah, just the foil commanders. Y yeah, foil ready. And then, uh, yeah, maybe one or two others. We'll see. Yeah, too bad that. Well, I guess, uh, I mean, are, is this only in English, so you can't get your Japanese printing? I do. Oh boy, that'd be, I doubt it might be, but I doubt we'd be able to order them. Uh, maybe even like battle bond we couldn't get i think there is japanese and chinese but i don't think we can order them oh, okay so maybe it's exclusive to region or whatever yeah they're, they're, i'm sure there's a way but you know we haven't yeah. haven't looked into Explored it, so. it yeah um so anyway with that i think that uh that we've pretty much gone over the product and yeah. everything and this is the big news for the last couple of weeks like we said at the beginning of the show it's been kind of slow for a little while and i yeah. think you know that's that's just like a symptom of like big releases like dominaria yeah. like there's not really a whole lot going on after because everybody's just like losing, losing their minds hands. over all the new cards and whatnot and yeah i am personally super excited for battle bond to see what happens there like i said i hope it's another commander christmas not necessarily for our youtube careers but for our just regular playing because i know that me and eric are looking at each other like do we really want to have another like 20 commander round of deck decks to do I if know. they're good, yeah. you know, I think, yeah. Looking at Dominaria, so many uncommons, it's just like, why? Why would anyone do this? Yeah. Like, um, But at the same time, there's just, I mean. There's so many cool options. I swear to God, there's probably like 25 good commanders from that set. Oh, yeah. And that sounds crazy, but I swear. Yeah. And, and it, if they do Battle Bond the same way, you know, um, I think it, it'd be very, it, it could be good, you know. And then, like, we're talking about Commanders 18 coming up. Give I us. Bet that'll be good, too. Give us uncommon partner commanders you're all about this popper i am you? Yeah. like i you know i'm all about the popper to power things right now so yeah and i, I think popper could be something that could be explored in the future like yeah. I, I think it could be a whole new playground for somebody like me that's never really done a whole lot of it and yeah we'll see what happens there but anyway um with that i think we've uh, definitely talked about it we and have. uh we will see you next time yeah thank you